Hafadé Guam, here are the headlines for CNMI. During a routine inspection conducted on February 12, local customs officers intercepted a total of 100 cases of assorted liquor and more than 4,000 capsules of antibiotics that were being smuggled into the CNMI. The container was coming in from Manila, Philippines, shipped by Ju Yi Corporation, who is not a frequent importer to the CNMI. Upon arrival of the container, the importer has submitted an invoice. And based on that declaration, based on that invoice and the value, the taxes that was owed was assessed or calculated to be 9,700. Upon the interception and revealing these hidden items, the smuggled items, okay, the liquor, the undeclared, undeclared liquor, the antibiotics that you see before us, the total taxes due is 19,000. According to law, a penalty of 100% of the value of goods and commodities shall be imposed on violators. The violator of this interception was assessed a penalty and has been paid in full. Again, this is a $10,000 loss to the CNMI had the CNMI Customs not inspected this container. The antibiotics, or amoxicillin, were found inside boxes of butter cookies. We want to emphasize, most especially with regards to the antibiotics, that there is a health risk in buying or using prescription drugs without a prescription. And these antibiotics can only be imported by those with a medical license or by medical professionals. Secretary of Finance David Atelig says the violator will be classified as a high-risk importer and all future imports will be inspected 100%. Uh, this amoxicillin, this antibiotics is not only undeclared, but we don't even know if it's uh, genuine. It could be um, uh, counterfeit and if the public are buying this, they could put a risk uh, to their health and to their families. Customs Director Jose Mofnes says the division is taking a priority in monitoring counterfeit goods, especially medicines. There is a concern regarding counterfeit medicines. It, it is really a health risk. And so at this time, Secretary, we are going after, uh, you know, we're going to treat it as drug smuggling, like, you know, and so that's why we are concerned and we will be pretty much enforcing it also. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Sally Lemis. For more news, visit SayapanTV.com. For KSPN 2 News, I'm Ashley McDowell.